Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you some tools so that you can save yourself on some precious hard drive space. These tools are going to help compress games from these console generations here. Uh, I typically like to call them the CD consoles with the exception of one. And we're going to jump right into it. The first tool we're going to start with is this one right here, where we're going to compress PS1, PS2, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast and Sega CD. This tool is called CHD Man. You'll be able to download it from here, from the Internet Archive. That's archive.org. I'm going to leave a link down in the description and in the pinned comments. When you go here, you're going to go to Show All, and you'll download the CHD Man from here. However, it's missing one file that I'm going to show you how to add to. Before we get started compressing, I'm going to show you how to add this one right here. This is to convert ISO to CHD, which is what we're going to use to convert our PlayStation 2 games. So here, this command I will leave for you in the description. You're going to paste this command inside of a new text document. You're going to save as. And what you'll do is you'll go here. Make it all files, name it to ISO.CHD.BAT and you click save. I already have it here, so I don't need to go ahead and do that. When you do that, it creates this batch file that we'll use for converting our PS2 games from ISO to CHD. Let's go ahead and start with PS1. Here we have Crash Team Racing, and as you can see, we have it in a bin queue format. Jet Moto, we have here in a bin queue, but multiple bin files. Don't worry, this will work just as good. We'll go ahead and drag these over here, and we'll click Q or GDI to CHD. Double click the batch file, command window will show up and it'll show you the process for this one. When this one is finished, the next one will show up. When your games are done compressing, you'll notice them here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these two so you can see the difference already. 996 MB. Highlight both of these here. 553 MB already close to half on savings in the size. Then you can just drag your new files over and you can delete your old files. We can go ahead and test the games here just to show you they work after compressing. Drag over one of them. And as you can see, it starts up dragging the other game. and both games booted. Now, we'll continue on. The next section will be Sega Saturn. We'll grab our Mega Man X4. Sega Saturn game has multiple bin files. Come over here, double click Q or GDI to CHD. When this is done, you'll have a CHD reduced size. Okay, here we go. CHD is 342 megabytes. Go back here. 541 megabytes for the original file. So we are saving here. Let's drag this back over here. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll continue on to PS2. Here we have Silent Hill 2. So once we drag over Silent Hill 2, we won't use this one. We'll click on ISO to CHD. This one will start the compression of the ISO for us. This one does take a little longer than the others as the file sizes are much bigger. So have some patience and it depends on your computer whether this will go fast or slow. All right, once that is done, here we have the new file. This file weighs in at 2.2 gigs. The original file is 3.61 gigs. Already some good savings. We'll just drag back the new one. We'll delete the old one. We'll continue on to the next console. Here we have a Sega CD game, Batman Returns. We'll drop it in here. We'll come back to Q or GDI to CHD as this one is a bin Q game. Multiple bin files. Okay, and here we have it. The new CHD, uh, 296 megabytes. Original file, 502 megabytes. We have some good savings here. Bring over the new, get rid of the old. Next console up, 
we have the Sega Dreamcast. Here we have Sonic Adventures and Fantasy Star Online 2. Check the size ahead of time, 1.13. This one should be about the same, 1.12. Grab these, and we'll do GDI to CHD, because these are GDI files, as you can see. Double click and get it going. Okay, here we go. We have the two new files. And as you can see, both of these were 1.10 gigs or so. This one is 608 megabytes, almost half the size of the original file. This one's 871 megabytes. So combined is 1.44 gigabytes. Up here, these two, 2.25 gigabytes, big savings. We'll copy these over, get rid of these and move on to the next console. Here we have the PSP and we have these games here. The third birthday and need for speed undercover. Our compression tool is going to be a CISO GUI. You can get this application from the uh, PPSSPP forum. I will leave the link to this inside the description box and in the pinned comment. You'll go here to download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can launch it and you're going to be greeted with this window here. It's pretty simple and clean. What we're going to do is drag these two games in here. We have nine different levels of compression. I like to go nine, nine is the highest, one is the lowest. I'm gonna go ahead and compress it. Override existing, no. Use source directory, yes. Wait till that's done. Okay, now when it's done, you'll notice here, it actually tells you how much space you actually saved. This is pretty cool here. In this game, since there's not much dummy data, we saved 178 megabytes. However, in this game, we saved close to half. So this is actually big savings. Certain games will save more, certain games will save less. But when you have a whole collection of games and you compress them like this, you're saving massive. We'll get rid of the old here since we have the new and we'll move on to the next console. Okay, for this next step, I'm gonna show you GameCube and Wii. We're gonna use the Dolphin emulator to do our compression for us. What we see here is our GameCube game at 1.36 gigabytes. There's a lot of dummy data in these games. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the game. We're gonna convert file, RVZ, an advanced compression format, which is compatible with Dolphin. And it can efficiently compress both junk data and encrypted Wii data. What we're gonna do here, it starts off at level five. I'm gonna go ahead to level 22 and simply just hit convert. We're gonna throw it in the same folder here. And this process doesn't take too long, but it might depending on your hardware. Successfully converted one image, and as you can already see, from 1.36 to 522. Massive savings here for our GameCube games. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for our Mario Kart Wii. As this file, let's delete the ISO as this file is an ISO file, 4.38 gigs. We'll convert it to the exact same format. We'll right click, convert file. I like to give it level 22 and just hit convert. Let's go into the Wii folder. All right, now that it's complete, we can see the big difference in file size. 4.38 down to 2.6 massive gains here and this is a bigger game so there's gonna be a lot of other games with junk data that compresses a lot further than this you go ahead and delete that iso and here we have two compressed games we'll move on to the next one now as far as 3ds is concerned if you rip your own 3ds game or if you happen to acquire one that is encrypted uh, it won't play it on the emulator and you'll need to decrypt it. So this is the standard file. It's one gigabyte in size. We're gonna go to the Batch CIA uh, 3DS decryptor. This is the site to download the 3DS decryptor. I will have this linked in the description and in the pinned comments. Once you have it downloaded, you'll have these tools at hand. What you'll do is you'll take the game, we'll drag it over, and we'll double click this Batch file here. 
it'll decrypt. And when it's done, it'll ask you to press any button to exit. Here is the size difference already. 626 megabytes down from one gig. It's gonna tell you it's decrypted. You can just drag it over, get rid of the source and ready to play. We'll move on to the next console. And here we have original Xbox. We have extract ISO. This is extract ISO. This is the tool you will need to extract the ISO, the standard ISO for the Xbox original and Xbox 360. I will have this linked in the box and in the pin comment. All right, what we can do here is we can take this game and we can actually drag this over in here and it'll extract the game contents for us. Now, there are two things you can do here. This you can use and play with CXBX Reloaded. That'll be this emulator here. However, if you're gonna use XEMU, you're gonna need to convert this into an XISO. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. We'll take this, we'll rename it since it can't have spaces, and special characters when we are using the PowerShell command. So we'll take this, drag it over. We'll hold shift on the keyboard. While holding shift, we're gonna right click and then open the PowerShell window here. You're going to enter this command, which I'm gonna leave in the box down below. What you're gonna do here is this is the name of the folder. That'll be this folder right here. So whatever the name is here, you wanna have it here. But just remember, no special characters and no spaces. This is why I just simply named this Halo. Okay, now once this is done, you'll notice you have a new ISO file here. We'll close this window and you can see that this 7.28 gig file is now 3.37 gigs. This is now an X ISO file. What I like to do is copy the name, paste it here and label it X ISO. This way I can tell the difference, but we won't need this anymore. We'll just delete this. Give this its name. If you want to save this for CXBX Reloaded, you can save it that way. If you want to save this for XEMU, this is the way to go. We'll drag this back here and we'll show you the next and last console. Here we have Xbox 360, Gears of War, 7.29 gigabyte size. We can do the same thing here. We're gonna go to hover over at Extract X ISO. And now we have this folder that shows up once it's done. We'll right click it. We can see that it's 6.23 gigabytes. Not much dummy data in this one, but it's still close to a, a gig removed from the original file. If you're only gonna use this for emulation, then this should be fine. .xex file is what you'll need to drop into Xenia. And you can keep it in this format if you're gonna just use it for emulation. However, if you need to make it a disc again, we'll follow the same steps as before. Copy this over, hold shift on your keyboard, then press the right click, open PowerShell window here. We'll rename this to gears. We have our folder here, gears, and just go ahead and press enter. And we have our ISO generated here. We can close this. And this too will launch in Xenia. So however you wanna just format this, take your pick, but we'll delete the original and we'll keep one of these. I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. And the game launches as you can see here. So there you have it. These cool tools let you save when emulating your games. If you have a small collection, you're gonna make really good saves. 
if you have a big collection you're gonna have really big gain and saves right there and it's really good when we can just compress all this data that we don't need taking up space if you found this video useful don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one